All right. Well, we're beginning to wind things down here. We only have just a few parts left to build. And once we get a couple things built here, we can get into our next segment on assembly. Let's talk about our eye bolts. Eye bolts would be one here and one there. You're going to want to cut, first of all, you want to start with an 8 inch eye bolt and you want to cut it to 4 and 3 quarters of an inch from right here to right there. 4 and 3 quarters of an inch. You're also going to need some 3 eighths nuts. Four regular old 3 eighths nuts are just fine. I have used 3 eighths nylock nuts because I assemble these several at a time and it just makes it easier for me. You're going to need some washers, four washers. Now, notice this right here. See how I have cut a flat right here? You're going to want to uh, put it in a vise, file it down. However, you are going to want a flat right there. Reason being, and let's hope this shows on camera here. Space is a little tight right there. So you're going to want to knock a flat off to give yourself just a little space between these two washers. Put this back over here. All right. You're also going to need some um, shaft collars. Now these are the shaft collars that have the uh, little set screw in them. Get you a little closer view here if we can. A little set screw in them that you can position the shaft collar and lock it down. Now if you have chosen to use the quarter inch bolts for your posts Quarter inch shaft collar will go right down on there, lock down real well. If you decide that you want to go with the roll pin, you're going to have to take a quarter inch shaft collar and find a 17 64th drill bit and make that hole a little larger. The quarter inch roll pin is bigger than a quarter inch. So, um, You'll want to make that adjustment. Now these are useful when you begin to first start tensioning your jig. Sometimes if you don't get it quite right, the string's going to want to walk up the post. Shaft collar is just there to keep it from flying off. If you don't feel you need it, if you don't need it, I guess. So uh, you're going to need, I highly recommend that you get a shaft collar quarter inch shaft collar, put it on each post or quarter inch shaft collar, drill it out with the 17 64ths and put it on each post and you'll be good to go. All right, we're moving down to some of our last components here. You're going to need to take a section of regular old black plumber's pipe. Now this is what they call half inch nipple pipe. Um, nothing nothing special. You can get it at any hardware store. Now a half inch nipple pipe has a 5 8 inch inside diameter. Most of the time. I was lucky. I found some pipe that my uh, 5 8 carriage bolt went right into it real nicely. Most of the pipe you buy is going to have a seam running down the inside that is going to need to be removed. You can take a, the rotary file we showed earlier or a regular old rat tail file, put it in vise, ream that out a little bit, but you're going to need few inches of this and you're going to cut two sections of pipe. One section 
is going to be, oh, two and an eighth, two and a quarter. This one's not real critical. I hear the neighbor's dog over there barking his brains out. We'll try and talk around him. The other piece of pipe you're going to want to cut to one and three sixteenths of an inch. This get fairly close. These pipe sections are going to become spacers on our jig. And uh, this one, yeah, no big deal. If you're a little long, you're, you're all right. This one, shoot for pretty close to uh, an inch and three sixteenths if you can. And uh, what I have done, you can, you can just cut yours and use it. Probably work just fine. Since I build some of these for sale, I take them, take some sand, sandpaper and a file, put them in my drill press, spin it up, make them look all nice and shiny. Kind of an optional thing. Don't really have to do it, but it makes things look real nice. Okay. You're going to need to fabricate a couple of eye bolts. You may need to fabricate a couple of shaft collars. You're going to need to get a piece of half inch nipple pipe. Cut, cut you a section all about, like I said, two and an eighth, two and a quarter, whatever you feel like. This one pretty close to an inch and three sixteenths. And if you really want to get fancy, go ahead and shine them up. It'll look real good. So uh, that's pretty much what we're going to need to finish our fabrication. So build those up and let's get on to our next section, which is going to be the assembly of the jig.